Hey, you in there? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Were you saying stop by earlier? Nah. Reese hasn't told me a lot of things today. That was obviously one of them. Oh, well then I guess you don't know that I'm leaving for South Carolina. No, for a visit? No, to stay. I came by to say goodbye to you. When did this come up? Well, it was just kind of a, a spur-of-the-moment thing. A friend of mine called me up and told me about this co-op gallery in South Carolina. Next thing I know, I'm patron of the arts. Wow. <laughs> well, I had, uh, I had no idea you were even considering leaving, leaving town. Well, <laughs> neither did I, but I, I had a lot of time to think when I was confined to that hospital bed. And what I realized was that the reasons that I came here originally were not reason enough for me to stay here anymore. You mean the way things turned out between you and me? No, not just that. <laughs> to tell you the truth, this wasn't really my town to begin with, you know, and uh, I'm just a, a little homesick for something that I, I can't find here. And um, it's time for me to move on. Oh, don't be. Look, um, I don't regret one moment that we spent together. And I, I really couldn't imagine not knowing you or, or Chip and Adriana or Carmen and Raphael. I mean, you've, you've been so good to me here. And now I've got a whole new life to look forward to. And I guess maybe I just needed to pass through here in order to see that what I was really looking for, and I know this sounds corny, was... Um, was in my backyard. Oh, I'm really gonna miss you. Uh, <laughs> you gave me a lot. I wish I could have been the person you needed to, me to be at the time. I'd probably be a better man for it. Well, you are who you are, Cruz. I saw you first through Eden's eyes and, and then later my own. I don't think either of us did you justice. Look, I gotta go. I've got so much packing to do, you know. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Suzanne? Godspeed.